Hey everyone, Game Dev with Drew. Thank you so much for 200 subscribers. And you know, let's hit 300. Today we're going to be looking at what are called raycasts. Raycasts are very useful for enemies, um, detecting um, collision, uh, enemies, and as well as enemies detecting like if they see you. But today we're going to be looking at the overview of raycasts because. They're very, they're very simple, but you can use them in a very complex way. So first, let's go into our player scene, and let's just add a child node called a Raycast2D. And as you can see, our Raycast2D is looking down, and it's uh, disabled. But let's turn it on, and remember to always have exclude parent on, because if you want it to work, then you have to exclude the parent, because if it didn't exclude the parent, it would just be colliding with your parent the entire time. <laughs> Under here you can also check what it collides with if it checks with both areas and bodies like physics body 2Ds like kinematic bodies or rigid bodies and areas such as area 2Ds. So I like to have both of them on. And let's set the cast to instead of the y direction let's set it to uh, 0 and then we'll set the x direction to 100 pixels away. That. and then let's go into our player and make an already variable for our raycast now what raycast can do they have m only a couple different methods so one method that they have is called is colliding so we'll, we can just make a print value and let's just say if it's colliding so we'll do print uh, raycast dot is underscore colliding so we can see if we go into our game it keeps on printing false until we go near our area 2d in, in which is true but remember since our raycast is only part of raycast 2d we want our raycast to actually flip with our character so we can see that it's true when we look on this side but it's not true when we look on this side the reason why it's not true is because we can um, see that our raycast is does not turn when we turn. So in order to fix that, let's just go into our uh, move left function and we'll do raycast cast two. Um, and then it will cast to negative one hundred uh, zero. And then we can do ray cast dot cast two. So it's actually not a method; it is a variable. So I just ray cast dot cast two is just going to be equivalent to vector two. Uh, then it'll be those. So don't even worry. And now it turns when we turn. So we can see that it's getting collision of both our tile map, our characters, and um our enemies so now let's go into what these are useful one thing that these are useful for is collision with the ground so what i'll do is i'll just remove that and then i'll remove this too so we're going to set this to about 15 just to see when it collides and we can go into start and it says that we're true so the reason why raycasts are used is because is on floor is not always the best method to be using when jumping so some people use raycasts instead another way to use raycasts are for enemies as you can see like they go over the edge but if if they're no longer colliding uh they just move the other way for enemies so raycasts are very powerful i can do something with them in a later video if you would like me to but this is just going to be an overview for them so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.